Quite a bit of good news has recently come out about Tesla's mega pack business, including news that their mega pack factory in Lathrop, California is currently installing a second production line, which should double its current output in 2024. And that Tesla's mega pack business is now having a meaningful impact on company profits. Follow along with me as I dive into these important Tesla mega pack updates. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. According to Tesla's website, their Lathrop, California factory that manufactures the LFP mega packs is designed to produce 10,000 mega packs per year, which roughly equates to 40 gigawatt hours of energy storage being built there per year. However, this factory is not fully ramped up and it's not producing a rate of 10,000 of these uh, mega packs per year. But that is about to change apparently, and it could be fully ramped up by sometime next year. Thanks to recent comments from Drew Baglino, we know that Tesla is in the process of installing a second production line at this facility, which should essentially double the capacity of the factory, which I assume will allow it to reach its 40 gigawatt hour per year planned capacity in 2024. Here's what Drew had to say in Tesla's Q2 2023 conference call about their Megapack business and the Lathrop factory. Megapack continues to show strong demand globally, with Lathrop ramping successfully to meet our contracted projects in 2023. Now, when it comes to the topic of global demand, um, if you go to Tesla's website right now and you go to order um, a Megapack installation, you can see here, and I pulled this up really recently, that the first available date in which you can actually um, schedule a delivery of a Megapack installation is Q2 of 2025. Now, obviously their Lathrop facility is not fully ramped up yet, so this partially has to do with supply, but it shows that once again, there is strong demand and Tesla does have a backlog of orders for their Megapack product. So that's excellent news, especially as Tesla um, ramps up this facility. Now, when it comes to ramping up the Lathrop facility, Drew Baglino also said during that conference call, quote, the second final assembly line at Lathrop is progressing on schedule, eventually doubling Lathrop capacity ahead of our full factory ramp in 2024. As far as I can tell, the Lathrop facility started production of Megapacks in November of 2022. And based on a video that Dylan from Electrified published on YouTube in February of this year, at that time in February, Tesla was reportedly producing 12 Megapacks per day or 84 per week. Eventually, of course, the Lathrop facility is supposed to be producing 10,000 Megapacks per year, a run rate of that which equates to if they produce mega packs every day, which is of course not the way it's really gonna happen. There are going to be some shutdowns, but if it were open every day of the year, that would be between 27 to 28 on average mega packs being built per day, which once again, based on the new information that Tesla is installing a second line at their Lathrop facility, to me confirms that each one of these lines is designed to be able to build around um, 20 gigawatt hours of energy storage per year or around 14 of these mega packs per day. So once again, if Tesla was building 12 per day back in February, I have no doubt that they're building closer to like 14 per day now fully ramped up. So once they are able to get this second line completed, that would mean that Tesla would be hitting very likely that rate with the two lines fully ramped up that rate of around 27 or 28 mega packs per day or around 10,000 per year. So it's good news to know that once again, that likely Tesla designed this facility to have two lines and that right now there's only one line actually going, but a new line is going in, but that Drew Baglino expects in 2024 for the production to double. And once again, I believe that will mean that it's able to produce 10,000 per year roughly or 40 gigawatt hours of uh, mega packs per year. This is an excellent update and really good to hear. 
Now, beyond that news, Drew also mentioned, quote, we have several exciting large projects and construction are nearing completion, including the KES project in Hawaii, the Riverina project in Australia, several projects in California, and one here at Gigafactory Texas that I toured today, actually. Now, when it comes to the Gigafactory Texas Megapack installation that Drew referred to, drone pilot Joe Tegmeyer has been publishing drone videos of Gigafactory Texas on his YouTube channel for over three years. And in one of his recent videos, you can see that Tesla is in the process of installing 68 Megapacks at the factory, which equals over 260 megawatt hours of energy storage. This is going to be a great addition to the factory, especially when you consider that Tesla has quite a solar array on top of the roof of Gigafactory Texas. And this will of course allow them to make better use of that solar power and be able to save some of that energy and use it for more peak times. So this is definitely a smart move for Tesla to go ahead and install these at their own factory. Now beyond their Megapack business, which is of course a utility scale or commercial product, they also have their Powerwall product, which is great for residential use, for instance. During that same conference call, Drew Baglino talked about their Powerwalls when he said, quote, on the residential side, we have some fun things happening. We recently surpassed a half million Powerwalls installed. I did a little research and I came across this Electrek article that was published on June 16th and apparently Tesla was able to reach uh, that 500,000 Powerwall installation number sometime around June 16th or so. The exciting thing is that Tesla is really starting to build quite a few Powerwalls per year, and they've really ramped up um, the Nevada factory quite a bit, and they're building quite a few uh, Powerwalls at that facility because, for instance, once again, going to that same Electrek article that was published in June of 2023, quote, it took Tesla six years from launching the Powerwall to deploying 250,000 units. But now we learn it took the company less than two years to deploy the next 250,000. So when it comes to Tesla's energy storage business, obviously the commercial side looks like it's doing well and the residential side with their Powerwall product, that's also doing extremely well. Now beyond the products themselves, let's actually talk a little bit about profitability. Obviously as a business, um, Tesla needs to make a profit. And I believe that their energy storage business really is the key to the profitability of their um, energy business in general. Um, from what I understand, the solar business has very tight margins. There is a lot of competition and that business is generally not super profitable, but their energy storage business is where I believe the money is to be made as an energy business for Tesla. Now, in the past, for instance, in Tesla's Q1 2021 investor conference call, Elon Musk made some comments about the fact that they were making pretty good margins with their Powerwall product. But at that time, additional work was needed for their mega packs to actually make good margins for Tesla. Back in 2021, Elon did say, quote, we have a clear runway for improving the cost per megawatt hour of the mega pack. And it seems like a big part of that plan was building their Lathrop facility where they could produce these very efficiently at a purpose-built factory and also by switching over to lithium iron phosphate um, mega packs, which I believe was also part of making these more profitable. Now, when it comes to more recent updates, Elon, Drew, and Zachary Kirkhorn all referred to mega pack profitability during Tesla's Q2 2023 investor conference call. For example, Elon Musk said, quote, our other businesses such as Megapack, supercharging service, and whatnot all started to become a meaningful contributor to overall profitability this quarter. Now, Drew Baglino also added to that conversation when it comes to margins, quote, as stated last quarter, Megapack margins are in a reasonable place in line with our target market, vehicle target margins. As a reminder, Elon in the past mentioned that they're aiming for vehicle-like margins for their Megapack business, and Tesla makes really good margins on their vehicles. Um, so I believe Tesla is well on their way to achieving those excellent margins on their Megapack business, and I personally believe that Tesla will surpass that. I believe they can make more money on their Megapack business um, than they can with vehicles, and as we'll talk about, they can make money beyond just the initial sale as well. 
Now, um, once again, when it comes to margins, Zachary Kirkhorn added, quote, for our energy business, we improved margins and gross profit driven by cost reductions in deal economics, particularly with Megapack. Now, beyond the initial margins that are made selling the Megapack, the uh, Megapack business also has built-in recurring revenue as well. On this topic, Drew Baglino mentioned, quote, given how much deployment growth on the Megapack hardware side is occurring, it's important to remember that these large capital projects have lifetimes of 20 years of recurring revenues on an annualized basis. When it comes to what Drew is referring to, um, you can go to Tesla's website right now. And if you go to the page where you can order Megapacks, you can see here that Tesla has a little section here that says estimated annual maintenance. And for instance, if you had an installation that was 68 megapacks, like the installation that Tesla is doing at Gigafactory, Texas, if a company were to order such an installation, there would be an estimated annual maintenance cost. And this maintenance is done by Tesla of over $340,000 per year. And there's a little note here that says price escalates at 2% per year. Apparently, since Drew mentioned specifically 20 years when it comes to recurring revenue, I believe that's the designed lifetime of a mega pack. It could last longer than that, but I believe that Tesla is aiming for these mega packs to last 20 years in operation. So once again, these mega packs, once they're installed, not only do you make some money on the initial sales of the mega pack, but there is apparently some margin to be made with service. Now they do have to send out um, employees to go out and service these machines, but I assume they're making a little bit of profit on that service. So once again, there's revenue that will continue to build for around 20 years after a mega pack is installed. This is actually a really big deal and is important to Tesla's bottom line when it comes to the profitability of their mega pack business. Now, when it comes to the profitability of Tesla energy in general, back in 2020, Tesla barely made a profit on their energy business. But in 2021, that improved quite a bit. It dipped a little bit in 2022. However, very encouragingly here, if you look at the first half of 2023, you can see that Tesla has a good, healthy, gross profit margin on their energy business. And if you look at the total revenues for the first half of 2023 for their energy business, they're actually um, getting pretty close to their full year 2022 revenue number there just in the first half of 2023. So it's very possible that Tesla could surpass $6 billion of energy revenue here in 2023. That's just doubling roughly the number that they've done through the first half of uh, 2023. And that's of course really starting to become a meaningful um, number on their balance sheet. Now, when it comes to Tesla's ramp of energy storage deployments, you can see that in 2022, Tesla deployed um, 6,541 megawatt hours of energy storage. And in the first half of 2023, they've already surpassed that number with 7,542 megawatt hours of energy storage deployment. Their solar business is down quite a bit, but their energy storage business is up substantially, which once again, I believe is more important because I believe that's where the margins are to be made. And that's really where Tesla seems to be focusing. Eventually, I believe their solar roof has the potential to be good on margins in the future. Um, but we don't hear a lot about the solar roof. And I believe Tesla really hasn't fully ramped that up just yet. So I'm not really sure about that product just yet. But their energy storage business, that's a big bright spot. And I'm encouraged that they're really ramping that up quite a bit. And the fact that they're adding an additional line to their Lathrop facility and that that facility should be fully ramped up in 2024 should make 2024 an even better year for Tesla's energy storage deployments. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.